Today in Red Dead Redemption 2, we help Hercule fight off Fusar and get off the island of Guarma. And then we finally make it back to Lemoyne, which is where we are right now. So it's going to be another pretty intense episode. Stay tuned. So I'm hoping now with Dutch, we're going to go rescue Javier. Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Hercule spoke of and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. Oh, fun stuff. This feels like uh, Uncharted. <laughs> Almost. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Back? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Oh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. We need they to figure out how they found out we were gone, robbing the friend. bank, though. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say, a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. <gasps> Vamos. How much Vamos. of that are we gonna have Amigo. left? Now that gold right there. That's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. Hmm. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. Hmm. Great, so we got nothing. Great. <laughs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the feathers Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Uh, so, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. Oh, no, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? Bait? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. Oh. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. So he's thinking maybe Abigail betrayed us? Or Abigail and John? Because, you know, oh, we'll take John alive and... Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> I'm 
Just a, just a bit more. <laughs> this way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen. Son, you think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you going to strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. Well, my friend, I do not understand. Who are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. <laughs> no, la próxima vez será aún más duro. <laughs> bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Now, I know this is going to sound very, um, you know, heartless, but he killed that old lady. Why not just grab the gold back so we can use it to pay someone else to help us or something? I don't know. We need to deal with them. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. Okay, yeah, I've already got my knife out. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. On your count. There we go. We did it. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Oh. Nice, there's a well just right here. We're gonna poison. Oh, okay, or not. Never mind. I thought we were gonna put him down the well. This is probably better. <laughs> Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Oh, wait. Let's loot them. Do they have anything good on them? Some rum. And... Mm, some ammo. Nice. Let's go in there. Well, you know me. Arthur will... Cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Yeah, because that's worked so well the last few times. Take the other side of this door. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. More guards down. Over here. Oh, wait. What could I pick up? Shotgun shells. And some cartridges from my rifle. I'll take that. And I'll loot you. Nope. Well, I guess I'll wear his hat. Why not? <laughs> Blend in a little bit, maybe. Not really at all. 
sure my hat will probably get shot off. Okay. Now we need to create a diversion. Oh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. Sugar? No problem. You'll see. Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Is sugar a... Uh... I'm interested to see how this is going to work. This place will go. Really? Release? Kindling. Do I release this valve or wait? I assume I... Wait? Alright, I'm gonna do it. All Whatever right. this does. Out wait, for me. I'll get this going. wait outside, okay. I wonder if this is a real thing. Like, does... The sugar... Is it gonna blow up, or... What's the... Okay, maybe it's not going to blow up. It's just going to... I don't really know. <laughs> I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Oh, it is going to go up in flames. Come on. We can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. And I'm gonna use my double. Oh, whoops! Never mind. I thought I had a double barrel shotgun. Yeah, let's go. Go to Javier. Get this open. Uh, or okay, we're shooting. Cover Dutch and Javier as best we can. I've got no cover. All right, follow Dutch. Guess I don't need to be crouching anymore. Hello, Dutch. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I can shoot him. All right, yeah, let's run through all the sugar fields, the sugar cane. I hope Javier doesn't die. Of course, they wouldn't know that this was Arthur because I'm wearing a hat. Okay, get across the river. You okay? He's passed out. We're dead. Uh, he'll be fine. I'll get him out of here. I really hope Stay he's not here. dead. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. This will give us a chance to get to hell fools born. They shot off my hat. Now they know it's me. Darn it. Oh, finally. That's all of them. <laughs> Whew. Man. All right. Now, we did what you asked. It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! 
Vite! Come. Follow me. What's going on now? Jeez. It's been one disaster after another. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. Oh, great. That's a goddamn warship. Which one? Oh, wow. That is pretty far. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we win. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Where's Javier? Is he fine? Is he okay? Shoot them. Fellers on the beach. I see. We got more coming at us on the right. Uh, let's be paid. You welcome to the Oh, help her cue. Push the cannon. All right, let's do it. Hopefully we've got cannonballs. Oh, they're, they're already in there. What kind of cannon is this? Is this a real cannon? This seems a little too technologically advanced. <laughs> Please tell me I get to use the cannon. Damn it. Or not. Darn it. Let's go down and clear them off the beach. Wait, wait. I'll come too. And me. We'll guard this thing. Wish I had a shotgun. That would be better, but okay. Drop that shotgun out there. Oh, sweet. There's a lot of guns out there. Uh, so what do we do? Okay, well, I didn't want to drop my repeater. If we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay, then. Uh, I want the double barrel. Can I please switch to my other gun? Thank you. Because, yeah, that's not going to be super helpful, I don't think, right now. All right, double barrel. Let's go. Where are they is? Hey, guys. What's going on? Oh, darn it. Okay, time out, time out, time out. You got too close to me. You're supposed to stay far away. Okay, I think we can move. Let's go. Many, must stick close. I'm sticking as close as I can. He's dead. Got him. You guys got the other guys? Okay, yeah. Come on, let's move down. Yes, we need to push them back. Man, Dutch is a, a leader of this insurrection. Dutch is really getting into it. Oh, wow. Very kind to you, Mr. Fusar. I think that's all of them. Good work. Woo. Damn, he's getting closer. What do we do? The two of us must go and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. Well, hopefully Dutch better not be Dutch better not die. He can't he can't die, right? I mean he's like the main if he dies, then the whole gang kind of falls apart. How many we kill? He will have the money to get more. Watch out! Oh gosh! Our castle! Okay, so you shot the guy that was going for Dutch. I thought you were. For a second, I thought you were telling me to do it. Or as you were saying that, you killed him. Aim for the water line. I'm just gonna keep shooting this thing. Reload. There we go. Took it out. Gee whiz, man. Let's get down from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. 
How did Hercule just get a boat guy like that fast? That doesn't make sense, but whatever. Okay. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Bussar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. It's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hercule? Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hercule, we follow you. Anale, this way. Quick, let's get up around the back of that artillery post. Destroying some artillery so we can get away. Hopefully this works and doesn't go all screwy. <laughs> There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy and I'll get the other one, okay? Sure. He's dead. Okay. Clear. <laughs> he like hit him in the in the shoulder with a knife yeah that's not really gonna kill him but you got okay. it secured properly cowpoke i think so knowing you i have my doubts shut up my kid <laughs> come on run and now we're fighting again Sounds like a shotgun situation. Probably, maybe. Wait here for a second for the others to catch up. I'll get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. I could quit running around, man. I'm trying to loot this guy. Look, more Fusas men coming through. The okay. Come on. Let's pick them off. I bet Mr. Fusar is going to be so angry <laughs> at us. I mean, he, hey, I'm sure he already is, but. And. Like, I. Okay. How are you getting on with those cannons, Micah? Nearly there! Wait. Okay, Ooh. Let's go. Or okay, or not on my mark, you know. Okay. Let's get Dutch, you're like right in the you're in my shooting line. Goodness, come on. Sorry, dude. I was the only part of your body I could see, so you get the captain out of that cabin. We'll cover things out here. Get the captain. Hello, Captain. Please be alive. Who are you? Oh, I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Is that Fusar? Eventually. I'm sure we will. But not today. And not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Mm -hmm. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying. Kick the gun! Shoot Fusar, please! Oh my gosh. He got out incredibly fast. You 
saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen! Yeah, we should probably go quickly. I didn't see him. Damn it! Fusa is up there. In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Come on! Am I not like dead eye? No, okay, I can't. There's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can even. Well, let me just try it. Let me just try it. You need to get that cannon out there. Uh, no. Okay. All right, I'm I'm going to the cannon. I'm going. Use cannon. Aim. Fire. Later, Fusar. I got it for you, Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you going to be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear, probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. <laughs> we survived. Just about. Back to Saint Denis, man. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one. Find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck is turned. You know? And I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke? Alone? They're gonna pick us off one by one, and you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy, and that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen, I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine, but that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Our boat is sinking. So am I gonna have to pay the bounty of myself? Do I have my money now? Do I have my money? New weapons are available, that's nice. I probably do not have my money, okay. Okay, am, oops, didn't mean to go into first person. Am I wanted? Okay, okay, we're not in San Denis. Okay, for some reason, I'm not wanted in San Denis. What? Interesting. After all that, nobody cares. 
Awesome. Okay, well, we're way up here in Van Horn, where, again, nobody cares about who I am. I did get a... It did, did notify me about a... Uh, I had some letters, so maybe somebody is trying to reach uh, Dutch and the gang, so let's head to the post office. <gasps> Wait, is that my horse? No. Your horse is lost. Great. And probably all of my money. Just fantastic. I have to run everywhere. And I'm not stealing a horse because I don't have the money to pay off my bounty. So, uh, yeah. So day, March. Hello. Hey there. Welcome. Receive mail, please. Oh, yo, I've got $450. Okay, well, that's nowhere near as much as, uh, you know, six grand that I used to have. Inspect document. Let's see, what does this say? Mr. Kilgore, I couldn't I could not have wished for better fruits from our unconventional partnership. The works hanging in our gallery are quite highly authenticated. And that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Okay, yeah, this is from the mayor of Saint Denis. I did a mission for him not too long ago about uh some art. Many men of more secure positions than yours would do desperate things to be in the good Smartest graces of the mayor and to use an Americanism. Else. I feel I have still have some chips to cash. I trust you understand as before. Come back to the mayor and blah, blah, blah. One night. Okay. Well, I was kind of expecting that to be someone nice else, you know, maybe like Mary or, um, I don't have more mail. Do I? Yeah. Welcome. No. I could send mail. Right. What are you sending? Uh oh, bone locations. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll do that. We mailed at least one dinosaur bone. Okay. Sweet. So maybe I'll get a reward for that. Hello. You better go look in a mirror. Yeah, I know I look terrible. Oh man. I never got my aloe vera. <laughs> Just I'm sorry. Oh, uh, man, I really would like a horse, but I'm not going to steal one because I don't want to get a bounty on me. So, man. Well, and we got to make our way all the way down to our camp. All the way down to Shady Bell. Let's see, can I fast travel, actually? Is there a, um, a stagecoach? There is, but it is not running right now. Let's still head to the stagecoach. Maybe when I get there, I can fast travel or something. Or maybe I can wait till morning for the stagecoach to be an operation. No. Great. Um, search saddlebag. Is anybody looking? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jeez, horse, come on, chill. That wasn't your saddlebag I was searching. It was your owner's. Goodness, man, that, that horse kicks, man. Well, oh my gosh. And I don't, I can't camp either. Yeah, goodness gracious. How about this? Let's visit an inn, if there is one here. Sleep until morning. And, uh, hotel. Is the hotel not even open? Who's the o owner of the hotel? Wouldn't be... Yeah, I guess it would be... Uh, this guy, right? How in the world... I, I just want to sleep. It's weird that the inn is not working. It's like it's closed on the map. It's marked like, oh, it's closed almost or whatever. All right, when is this stage... Okay, the stagecoach is just yeah, not coming it's not gonna and I'm not gonna sit around here I, even though I said I would <laughs> I just goodness maybe I will steal a horse like gosh I mean I tried to steal that other horse but it wouldn't let me if I wanted to take this horse how do I even uh I guess I would just get on right yeah come on horsey you're mine now at least for the time being. Maybe I can get my other one back because my other one was way better. All right. Now we're making some progress. Let's get to Shady Bell and see if anybody's there. Here's Shady Bell. Any 
anybody here? Well, the camp looks ransacked. Uh, can I go through this side? Here? Hello? Anyone here? Search both floors of the mansion for signs of the gang. Milton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. Ooh. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws hold up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around. And see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton. I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Really need to just be quiet. And, and uh, not let them uh, know I'm here. Seriously. Because... If I do, then they're gonna know, oh, there is someone here. Ooh, doing what? Okay, you went in that, is there a guy right? No, he's probably below me. I mean, if I can kill these guys stealthily, I will. But again, would be better if I didn't kill them. Because then they know, oh yeah, there's nobody there. Oh man, that guy should have seen me. <laughs> Alright, buddy, stop Found me. Found a letter. You're a dead man. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. You're dead. And you're dead. I think there's only Three of three or four of them here, right? Yeah, that should be it. There's a letter here. Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in La Caye, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy. But apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Oh, nope, don't want to pick him up. The nice thing about killing Pinkertons is now I've got my choice of horse. Uh, what kind of horse are you? You are... Terrible, terrible, they're all terrible. Okay, um, <laughs> great, they're exactly all the same. Let's go. Fine, okay, off to find our dear sweet niece, or whatever, Caroline. Should be around here somewhere. Hello? Hey guys, good to see you. Arthur, Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. Come inside, come on, look it's raining. You. Hey everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey old man, wake up. Hey Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay, okay. Hey. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody 
Give me a cup of coffee or something. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch? After the robbery in Saint-Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then, Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We... We've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Oh Agency. my gosh, are you kidding me? Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let her have it. There's no way. Oh, they're blaming Bill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe Bill, I guess, uh, was a little too stupid with who everybody he asked. Okay, well, this is going to burn. Do I have all my money back? It looks like I have my clothes. Do I have my gun? Nope. Well, I mean, I have these guns, but I don't have my other guns. This way. There's a trap door into the other house. We can try to flank them. Quick, Arthur. for brutality there is no escape for any of you i shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time i killed your friends really start to irritate me oh gosh i did not mean to get out of dead eye I hope we kill Mr. Milton this time, like, seriously. Oh yeah, I get to use the Gatlin gun. How many Pinkertons are there? Goodness gracious. Uh, okay, get on it. Oh my goodness. You saved us, Arthur. Oh man. Bill and Sadie. You okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sure. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean, so we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. 
What are you gonna do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Mesa. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him. It'll break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. And I noticed that Arthur is not looking too good. He looks very sickly. And hey, here's my horse. Do I have all my stuff? Yes, I do, finally. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.